In this video, I'm going to go over a stealth email update that Google put in the beginning of this year that is leading emails to be marked as spam in massive amounts and how to fix it. Stick around. I've had a lot of requests about this video. A lot of you are super excited because in the past, I've talked about how to avoid the spam box with your cold emails. But this year, something big happened around Gmail, and this hasn't been announced anywhere. I've just seen this because we send a lot of cold emails using G Suite. Google has gotten a lot smarter with its spam detection, both on the sending side and on the receiving side. So we've seen a lot of consulting clients end up in the spam box. And that's one reason why I made that video about how to not be marked as spam, but also why I wanted to talk about today's video, which is step-by-step -step how to prepare an email account for cold emailing. This is how to make your email account look real enough so that Google doesn't mark you as spam immediately once you start sending with a tool like Mailshake or Yesware or yet another mail merge that we've talked about a ton on this channel. By the way, if you want step-by-step -step how to send these cold emails, check the link down in the description below. Now, here's what we're doing. I'm gonna go through and follow this process step-by-step -step to make sure that this inbox looks real enough to trick the Google algorithm. Now that I said that keyword, we're probably gonna be Google owns YouTube and they're they're watching that. So I'm not going to say trick the Google algorithm a third time. Only only the two that I already said. Now, follow these along with the how not to get marked as spam video in the description, which says at a high level, customized emails, at least one or two sentences that are custom and research going into each line, making sure the leads aren't bouncing. Follow that along with this process and your emails will not be marked as spam until Google changes their algorithm again. By the way, who called the update Panda, the SEO update? I think I'm the first one to discover this new G Suite update. Based on my data, it happened early this year, mid-January, and I'm going to call it the ice cream update because it, it throws us all out like ice cream. Is that a terrible name? Let me know down in the comments. What would you call this algorithm change? All right, <laughs> let's jump into this. So step one is you buy a domain. Usually I buy my domains through Google and you do that by going to domains.google. I've been meaning to buy this domain anyway, so I might as well get it as a business expense here. <laughs> Shinjinjo.com. Shinjinjo is the name of my movie production company. At least that's the name so far. It means newcomer in Japanese. And uh, I'll buy that. So you buy the domain, uh, get all the stuff is fine. Auto renew is fine. Buy the domain. I'm not actually doing it as a business expense. Notice here I'm putting it on my personal card, all right? I'm not stealing money from the corporations. Why do I feel the need to defend myself? So you go here and you buy a domain, then you set up G Suite. And that's pretty easy here. You just click email and you get G Suite. G Suite is Google's mail sending platform, similar to Gmail, uh, but for business. And it, they have a few benefits. You can see my entire G Suite review. I might actually do an updated review. We'll link down to that below. Why I love G Suite. I'll be alex at shinjinjo.com. Backup email address is gonna be uh, my personal email. G Suite basic is fine, $6 a month. And there you go. I'll review all of these step-by-step, step, by the way, at the end of this video. And there'll be a link down below if you want the checklist that you can run through for your cold email inboxes to make sure that they're clean. So step-by-step step, what we're going through in this video, you can check that out down in the description below. So we're setting up G Suite and it takes a minute or two for that to set up. So we're setting it up. All right, so alex at shinjinjo.com is now set up with G Suite. I am going to do one more thing, which is make sure your domain name points to a website. For right now, I'll point it to our other film production company, Lorelia Pictures, just so that it has a website set up that's legitimate. It doesn't matter if it's a forward, it just has to go somewhere. Cool, Lorelia Films, it's a temporary redirect because I'm gonna build a Shinjinjo site. Otherwise, I would put permanent redirect if you're just forwarding it to any domain. Now, log into G Suite. To log in, you just go over to your Gmail, you'll get that email from Google, you hit add account, and then you use another account. Notice I have a a lot of email addresses here, shinjinjo.com, put your password in and sign up, create a new password, there we go, got in. Now, once you're in Gmail, we can keep following this procedure. I'm not gonna use Yesware right now. All right, so you're in the email account. First thing you wanna do is add a profile picture. So for me, I'm gonna put a picture of myself because I mean, what else can we do? I don't know if I have one ready to go. What I like to do for my email accounts is have a different profile for every account. That way I can see visually. If you look up here, I've got a different Alex Berman profile for each one. Then I know, and I'm associating those accounts with those specific pictures. And it makes it a little easier for me to quickly know where I am and where I stand. <laughs> I'm gonna use this picture of me covered in cornstarch uh, from when I tried to make tomato and egg yesterday. By the way, if you wanna see my adventures, I post a lot of videos on Instagram. And most of them are not about me cooking Chinese food. Most of them are behind the scenes look 
looks at everything I do with these businesses, X27, simple apps, etc. And why am I doing this? Everything I'm doing in this video is to make your account look as real and used as possible because that is what Google looks at. They want to know that you're an actual person and you're not a spammer slash cold emailer. So let's get this profile picture in here. There it is. And don't judge me, okay? I know this is a weird picture, but what am I going to do? Take a new picture just for this video? <laughs> what kind of guy do you think I am? Someone who is prepared? There it is. Oh, I really need a new picture. I don't know why G Suite makes this disabled by default, but adding a profile picture is pretty easy. You go over to admin.google.com to log into your G Suite, click users, go over to the user you created, and then from here, you'll be able to add a picture by clicking this thing on the left. And we'll grab our picture, which definitely exists. And there it is. Now we've got a profile picture here. Again, not an ideal profile picture, but that's okay. And this will update at some point. It might not update automatically, but you can see it in the settings. Our profile picture is set. And there it is, actually. I will change this at some point. Now the next step is to create an email signature. So to do that, go over and click this gear and go to settings, scroll down to email signature. And I would set up a signature exactly like this, okay? And you're gonna think, as I'm saying this, that you don't wanna put things like your address, you don't wanna put things like your phone number. Google sees all of that, and the more real you are, the more likely they are to not mark you as spam. I'm telling you, Google is extremely smart. These algorithms are, are all AI-based, machine learning-based. So the people at Google don't even know why the algorithms do the things they do. And I don't know, but I can guess. And these guesses are based on all of the data we've had of avoiding the spam box over the last three years. So name, title. My title here is going to be producer. Name of the company, Shinjinjo. And I like to make them the right color. Shinjinjo can be classic red. Now, the address, I'll put my LA address because it's a movie thing. When you're doing anything in the movie business to either have a New York or an LA address. All right, grab this. Name, Shinjinjo Productions, founder, producer. Address, phone number, email address, and website. Cool. So set up the email signature using full name, your job title, company name, address, your phone number, your email, and your domain, all in the bottom. That'll make you seem like a real person. Now, make sure that it's saved. And we take this email address, alex at shinjinjo.com. The fact I have to say that slowly means I'm probably gonna change this name. Now, the next step is to sign up for 10 newsletters. And the reason why we're signing up for newsletters is to make the email address seem lived in and to seem real, shinjinjo.com. Cool. So I'll sign up for mine, x27marketing.com slash checklist. I'll sign up for Brian Dean. I'll sign up for Neil Patel. And maybe some non-marketing ones too. Maybe a Twitter account, Pinterest. Who's on Pinterest? Apparently a lot of people. Boom. And this will add a lot of emails going into your email account, which makes you seem real. Maybe I'll win something. What did I win from Neil Patel? Call with my SEO team. <laughs> Great. Neil Patel is going to sell me SEO. I'm not going to do that. Now, <laughs> sign up for a Twitter account. Name, Shin Jinjo. Shin Jinjo. I'll just create the company account. Phone number so it looks real. Verify via SMS. 142676. So sign up for a bunch of newsletters. We'll put a link to all these sites in the download in that description. So you can go through and easily go to all these sites. I'm not gonna do a profile picture right now. I can do a bio, I can do anything like that. Good, make sure you set your email so that it'll email you. Twitter by default is all text now. So just make sure you set your email here. Good. And then Pinterest. I have a Pinterest account and I'm logged in still. Wild. What is Pinterest? I, I feel like I haven't logged into a, a Pinterest account in years. That's crazy that they would still have me in there. Pinterest, sign up for Noah Kagan, sign up for Off-White, sign up for Barney's. This is a fashion account. I'll just sign up for some fashion ones. You can sign up for whatever you want. It just needs to be 10. It needs to be a decent amount going in and out. I don't even know if Off-White has a newsletter. And they do. Great. And in order to put your... Okay, luckily I don't need all this stuff. Done. Just hit Kai and Lee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ramit. I like the marketers because they all have the pop-ups and then you can easily sign up. That's one reason I like the marketers better. He doesn't have a pop-up. He's got a quiz. So I'm not going to take this quiz. Hype Beast. It's another fashion one you can sign up to. Anyway, just follow 10. Sign up to 10 random ones. Sign up to like BuzzFeed. We'll probably have one. Oh, BuzzFeed is amazing. 
Look at all these different newsletters you can sign up to. I'll just sign up to all of them. Now we're at 10, 10 newsletters easily. So we can send people to buzzfeed.com. You can sign up to all those newsletters. And now we're at 10. So now we go to the next step, which is confirm your email for all of these. You can unsubscribe from these later. You just want a lot of emails constantly going into your inbox that aren't cold emails. They have a single opt-in. Good job, Virgil. I'm sure your email address list is full of spam at this point. Look at this. Oh, this is happening when I email myself from my own list. That's what's going on. And that's it. Confirmed email addresses here. And I'll delete all these. And now, only two steps left here. Email some friends. I would try to email 10. Also, look at your email signature and make sure it looks fine. Mine has extra dots. So I'm just going to remove those dots really quick. Email some friends and have them reply to you. That's the last step. So, test. Hey, man. What's up? Some stuff like that. And I'll email Alex at X27. Ideally, you want to email 10 friends. I'll email two as an example here. But if you can email 10 and have them email you back, that's going to be perfect. Got this email set up. What do you think? I'll email two as an example. And I'll go to both of those email addresses. Reply to yourself and we'll be all set. I try to make it look like real conversations. I know this doesn't fool Google, but I still like it. There's one. Hey, man, what's up? I'll reply, I'll say nothing much. Good job getting the email set up. Be careful, Alex Berman is a similar name to you. I keep getting this message because my name is Alex Berman and this email account is also named Alex Berman. Hey Alex, good job, done. And I'll confirm with Pinterest. And there we go, this email is set up and it won't be marked as spam as long as you follow these steps that are listed in the other video, how to not get marked as spam. So to recap, those steps are buy a domain name, set up a G Suite, add a profile picture, create an email signature, sign up to 20 newsletters, send 10 emails to friends, and have those friends reply. And then you're all set. If you want that as a checklist along with the newsletters to sign up to, that is going to be down below. You can have that for free if you sign up to our newsletter. And you can actually just sign up to our newsletter from your cold email accounts to help them not be marked as spam. Easy enough. Let's take a quick break and talk about our sponsor for this video, PitchGround. PitchGround is a community of like-minded tech entrepreneurs, founders, and marketers. It's a platform where entrepreneurs meet the passionate early adopters. With their Facebook group being 4.6 thousand strong, they engage daily with the members, introducing SaaS founders to educate their audience, and in the end, help these founders to sell their products. PitchGround is a completely community-driven platform with a founder-first approach and is also driven by their awesome community members. You can join them now for exclusive lifetime deals, cool growth hacks, and business tips. You can get that by going to facebook.com slash groups slash pitchground or the URL below. Check out pitchground, sign up if you wanna help support the channel. Anytime that the advertisers can see that the audience of this channel is engaged, more advertisers are more likely to join. So feel free to join PitchGround, interact with some other entrepreneurs, maybe get some exclusive lifetime deals and some cool growth hack tips, and let me know how it goes. There's a link down below in the description for you to check out PitchGround. All right, back to the video. Subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this. We do three videos a week, all about sales, tactical stuff, psychology stuff, sometimes reviews of business content, reviews of books. Leave a comment down below. Did you follow this criteria? And are you still being marked as spam? I would love to know if it's failing. I would also love to know, did you follow this criteria? And are you not getting marked as spam? Did it succeed? Also, anything you would add for this ice cream update, the stealth cold email update that nobody's talking about? Let me know. Three videos a week, subscribe for that, and I will see you another time.